Hello guys, welcome you all to the PC Tips Pro. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create sports club website with WordPress. So, if you want to create your attractive websites, then without learning any programming languages like HTML, Java, you can go with this WordPress platform. If you want to start your own sports club, then it's the best platform for you to create your own website. So before we move further, don't forget to subscribe to the channel PC Tips Pro. Before we move further to this topic, let me tell you that they require two basic requirements. The first requirement is the domain. That means you need to buy a domain and the second is you need to buy a hosting. So guys, let's proceed further to this. First of all, you can open your browser and on the browser, search for Domain Racer or you can directly go to the website which is domainracer.com. So guys here, I'm not going to buy the hosting because I already having it with Domain Racer and I really love their services because they have very great services. They also have instant support as you can see support chat is here. So you can talk to them directly and you can directly contact to the salesperson also if you are having any of the technical issues. So I'm only going to buy the domain here. So here when you open domain racer website on the top you can see domain is here so click on to this domain option and search for domain also make sure while searching for the domain try to search for the name which is relevant to your website it means the keyword for your website should be in domain so talking about sports club website i'll search for my sport and then click into search option and now here you can see there are different suggestions coming up so the domain which are available here is the first domain is myipesgame.com and the second is mysportsstore.xyz and the third is my-sport-store.com so guys if you are a developer and digital marketer then i suggest you to go with .com domain because it will show your presence globally and also it help to rank your website on top and now once you select the .com domain you can click into this add to cart option now you can go to the web hosting but as i earlier said i already having hosting with domain racer so i am skipping this hosting part now we will move to the second part to set up your hosting so again you can go to the domain racer website and after this you can see this login option so click into this login option here now you have your credentials to log in. This is the same credentials which you have created at the time of signing up the account with the domain racer. So use the same credentials to log into the account. And once you log into your account, you will see the services and the products you have got from them. So you can see your active products and services. So once you click on the shared hosting and domain, you will get the cPanel login and credentials and the link also. So guys here. I'm directly going to the cPanel login. So enter my ID and password, then click into this login option. So you can see the cPanel account. Now, once you log into cPanel account, scroll down it completely down to bottom. And in software menu, you can see WordPress Manager by Domain Racer. So click into this option, and then you can see there's an option WordPress Management. Also, there are three options available: install, scan, and manage sets. So click into this install option. So from here, we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel hosting. So on the top, you can see it's asking to choose the version. So always try to choose the latest version because it will be good for your interface of the WordPress dashboard. Now here, it's coming for site name. The site name would be your website name. That means your domain name that will represent your website. So it was my sport club and now it's asking for site description so for example i'm taking it as hey this is my sport club and now you can see it's asking for id and password you can choose it according to your need so i'm keeping it as same admin and admin and now you can choose language according to your need and comfort i'm choosing it here english and next this is the last part we are going to do is select the theme so click first into show all themes and now you can see there are different themes which are available for you so we will search for theme it was about sports club so we can search for sports we can see there are three different options coming so i'll choose this one i think it could be better and also if you want to see the demo of your 
theme then you can click into this demo option so guys i'm directly here going to select this theme only and then click into this install option and as you can see it's installing now it might take time as you can see it may take three to four minutes you can read it from here so we will wait till then now after completing the second part you can move to the last part how can you customize your theme and how can you give the right and attractive look to your website now you are done with the installation part you will get this screen here as you can see congratulations the software was installed successfully now you have given two different links on clicking to first link you can see that how will your website is looking like you can click on this and you can open now coming back to the second link as you can see administrative url from where you can go ahead to the customized website that means it will be your wordpress dashboard so click on this and it will redirect you to the wordpress dashboard and as you can see here so talking about the role of this dashboard let me tell you this dashboard will let you to make changes to your website as you can see either you can customize your website from here or you can change the theme completely so you can also enhance your content with blocks and patterns you can do the changes from left side also like if you want to add any post you can do it from here also if you want to add any media then you can do it from here only if you want to add new page to your website you can do it from here also if you want to manage your comments to your website then you can click into this comment option by clicking into appearance you can see there are different options coming through which you can customize your website if you want to add any plugin then you can do it from here also if you want any other user to handle your website then you can click into this option there are different available tools which you can see now guys coming back to the website on the top you can see this my sport club and if you remember it was the name of the website i have given at that time and now you can see in the heading hey this is my sport club and if you remember it was the description i have given at the time of the installation so these all are the demo photos you can see guys also you can change it you just need to go back to the dashboard and here as you can see start customizing so click on to this option it will let you to do all the changes to your website now let's suppose if you want to change in the header footer template pages then you can click into this and now you can click into header part as you can see it's preparing interface and now from here you can make any changes to this title add new section add new row whatever you want in the header part you can change it from here only coming back you can also change block template preparing interface so from here you can change templates if you want to change any of the template according to your need now guys if you want to make change in home page then you can click into this home as you can see it's preparing interface so by scrolling down you can change anything in your home page so guys i hope it will help you to start your own sports club so guys i hope it will help you to start your own sport club website through wordpress that's it for today keep watching pc tips pro